Hey everyone, or welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Christina, and today we are talking about my trash, or the way YouTube likes calling it, my empties. So I have actually quite a good amount of empties here, specifically beauty, personal care empties. So let's go ahead and get started. It's not going to be in categories because I'm just going to grab whatever is in front of me and talk about it. I love watching these videos. It kind of gives you a more in-depth review. I mean, the reviewer have used the entire product, so they must love it usually, or they just have a strong opinion about it. So here we are. The first thing is my body wash. And this is the Aveeno Stress Relief Body Wash. I love buying these things. One, oddly enough, it, ha it smells very nice. It's not overpowering. It doesn't dry out my skin. I just love Aveeno body washes. And my son only uses these body washes because he has eczema prone skin, very sensitive skin. So Aveeno works best for him. So we are a big fan of Aveeno in this household. Definitely repurchasing it. And actually I already have. I have a lot of shampoos. It's been a while since I filmed an empties, but I have quite a few shampoos. So I have Amica Bond Repair Shampoo. I go through shampoo so much faster than the conditioners. So here we are. I liked this shampoo. I um, always buy it on sale. I never buy it full price because it isn't it isn't higher end shampoo. But I personally like the Amica shampoos. It smelled not as good as some other Amica products, but I've. I liked it. Will I repurchase this particular one? I'm not sure. I probably would buy something else just to try it out. I get bored with shampoos and scents very fast, so that's why I like buying different things. Next thing I have, oh, a conditioner in here. They're both, they're kind of gross, but uh, yeah. I have the Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Shampoo and the same in the conditioner type. As you can see, I use them well. I actually prefer this scent to the green one. I feel like my my hair liked it. I actually repurchased a huge bottle of this shampoo and I will be using it. I didn't buy a huge bottle of the conditioner because I still have plenty of conditioners to go through. Next thing is another body wash and this is the Olay Infused Essential Botanicals White Tea and Cucumber body wash. It has a vitamin B3 complex. I didn't really enjoy this body wash. I feel like it dried my skin. I don't know. I couldn't wait to finish it. The smell is okay, but I had to put a lot for it to foam. I don't know. I bought a huge pack of these body washes from Costco which is my fault. I still have two different ones to go through, but um, yeah, I definitely enjoy that, you know, much more, and this I will never purchase. This is gross, but here we got the Oxygen Infusion Wash by Skin Better Science. I really loved this cleanser. It is not super expensive, but it's definitely on the higher end. Usually buy this at the dermatologist. I don't think you can buy it anywhere else. I loved it. And I had to stop because uh, when I was pregnant because I think it has some um, ingredients that you want to avoid when you're pregnant. I think it has some sort of AHA or BHA or something along those lines. So I had to stop it. But before that, I actually finished it. So I love this product. We'll definitely repurchase it. Next skin cleanser. I have this Elastin Skincare Gentle Cleanser. Um, I bought it when I realized I can't use the other one because I was pregnant and my esthetician actually recommended me to try this instead and I really enjoyed this as well. I actually have another backup so I'm using the, the next bottle that I have. It's, it's nice, it foams very well, it doesn't dry out my skin, it doesn't break me out, it doesn't really have a scent. 
so yeah i really like this and i actually do love elastin skincare products the same with skin better they're just very expensive next in the same category here is the elastin skincare ultra nourishing moisturizer this is like the fourth bottle that i went through mid-range price but i really i really enjoyed this moisturizer it's not too thick and it goes in smoothly i i don't have any bad things to say about this i really really like this moisturizer and here's actually yeah this is how much i need to repurchase it i actually got the la roche posay moisturizers to go through i did buy them recently tolerate moisturizer if you watched my vlog my recent vlogs i did speak about it after i'm done with those moisturizers i will be repurchasing Bio oil skincare. I am not a oiling your body kind of girl. I barely moisturize. I know. I'm not proud of it. I should start moisturizing more, especially now that I'm getting a little older. Uh, but I bought this because I was pregnant and I didn't want stretch marks. And I had a lot of stretch marks with my firstborn, so I didn't want to go through the same things. So I got this and I religiously used it and I am happy to say I don't have any new stretch marks, only the old ones. So I don't know if it was this or this in conjunction with that belly butter from Burt's Bees. Put a picture of it, but I don't know. I don't have any stretch marks and will I repurchase this if I get pregnant, which I'm not planning to. I just don't like oils unless it's necessary. With this, I liked it. I'm not a big fan of the scent. It doesn't have that much of a scent, but it has some a little bit of it. But again, it worked. I can see myself repurchasing this actually. The fact that I used it up says a lot. Well, these are my prenatal vitamins. I bought it at Costco. It lasted me basically my entire pregnancy. It comes with 150 soft gels. And again, I bought it at Costco and I'm using another one. I already repurchased it. Because if you didn't know, if you are breastfeeding, you want to keep taking your prenatals. This is the third one. If this doesn't tell you that I was enjoying this moisturizer, I know it will. Aquaphor. It's always nice to have a huge thing of aquaphor. We use it for my son. My son, again, he has eczema. Not anymore. I feel like he kind of grew out of it, but we always, always moisturize, especially after bath with aquaphor. And his eczema is, is not there anymore. In general, aquaphor is great to have. I use it on my lips as a chapstick. It's the best chapstick ever. You won't have dry lips ever. Honestly, I don't remember the last time I had dry lips because this just doesn't let it happen. And it's good for scars or like if you have any cuts or minor scrapes, you put aquaphor, you clean it and you put aquaphor on it instead of Neosporin and that's gonna help it not scar. So yeah, great. Definitely repurchased. I've w went through so many tubs of this. Elastin eye treatment. These are a little more on the expensive side. I don't, I did not repurchase this because I just don't wanna spend the money for an eye treatment, eye cream like that. But I enjoyed it while I had it. But I feel like this, you don't get much of this. I feel like I ran out pretty fast. And with the eye cream, it's not like you use a lot. So I feel like for the price, it's not worth it. Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Elastin. I went through two. I enjoyed it, but again, it is higher in price. And while I did repurchase it once, I realized that I went through it way too fast and I don't want to spend the money for it. Especially, I feel like there's many other dupes of hyaluronic acid that you can get and enjoy that is probably just as good as these ones. So if you have the money and you want to splurge, sure, but you don't get much and um, yeah, that's all I want to say. I went through these hyaluronic acid boosting serum from PCA Skin. I had two little samples. Honestly, I don't remember much about it, so I'm just gonna... If you've seen any of my empties, you probably see this in quite a lot of them. Actually, I do have another one, a smaller one, that I just ran out of 
too, but I can't find it. This oil is everything. I love, love, love the scent it has. I'm so in love with this brand's scent and I feel like all their products have this particular smell. I just bought two huge tubs of Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner and I, I am in love. I am in heaven. <laughs> and this lasts you a long time. So yeah, I already repurchased it multiple times. I always choose the Moroccan oil birthday gift from Sephora and it kind of lasts me until the next year. So <laughs> that's what I've been doing. Uh, deodorant. This is Kenyan Old Spice. It really smells nice. This is considered a men's deodorant, but let's be honest. Women wear this all the time and honestly, this smells like a woman. This smells nice. It doesn't smell like a, a man. It smells very nice, actually. I enjoy it. I do have to switch up my deodorant once in a while because I feel like my armpits get used to a specific deodorant and it stops working on me. So that's why I had to put Old Spice on the side and try something else. Currently, I'm using the Shea Moisture deodorant for for women it actually works but yeah i'm sure i will be back to it but this is a very nice scent if you're like at the store just give it a sniff it smells good this is cvs petroleum jelly i use it for my lips and as you can see it's uh, nicely used up and only for my lips so this took me actually uh, a few years to finish but petroleum jelly on your lips no chapstick needed i have this small sample of tatcha dewy skin cream this thing is thick it has a little fragrance from what i'm remembering but no way i will be purchasing this because we're purchasing or repurchasing this because this is definitely on a very high-end side that i'm not willing to go to i would rather just stick to my elastin dermatology approved moisturizer and this um will stay in my memories because this was nice but now spending that money this is verso super eye serum with retinol Honestly, I don't... I know I've used it a while ago and there's still some. It's old. I feel like I enjoyed this and I genuinely thought it was done. But I feel like there's still some stuff in here. I don't know. I feel like I enjoyed this. I do remember, but it's been a while. This looks absolutely gross, but this is the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Shave Oil. I like this Tree Hut shaving oils. I love this scent. It smells very close to the bum bum creams, if you know, you know. This is my favorite scent and I actually have a new one in my bathroom right now. Next, a makeup product that I've had for an embarrassingly long amount of time. It's this Physician's Formula, the Healthy Powder with SPF. I don't think this uh, you can buy this anymore, so this is how old it is. I used to love this powder and uh, as you can see, I used it quite a lot. If they had it, I would repurchase it. It was really a great powder. Maybe they do. I don't know. It's been a while since I went to the drugstore and looked at Physician Formula products. It Cosmetic Sissy Cream. It's so sad. It's expired in 2020 and I'm, it's 2024 and I'm just now throwing it away. But I remember when I purchased it, I was so excited because I knew I loved this product. It's very nice. It's a very full coverage, which I actually do enjoy. Not as much these days, but yeah, I still enjoy this. It's not too heavy, even though it gives you so much coverage. However, I, for some reason, think I'm tanner than I actually am. And I always buy medium and I just need to realize that I, I'm not medium, I'm fair. I never returned it and I couldn't because I thought, well, maybe in the summertime when I go to the beach, blah, blah, blah. Never happened. So this is almost like full product that I'm throwing away because I've had it for so long. Maybe one day. I don't know. Origins Ginseng SPF 40 tinted SPF. I still have a lot in this product. I just remember it being a little splatchy on my skin and again the, even though this is its sheer tint I feel like it still was a little too dark for my skin and it wasn't very easy 
to blend so I would end up with like tinted patches on my skin so yeah unfortunately this still has quite a lot of product but I've had it for so long it's time to let go Maybelline skin eraser concealer I used it all up and honestly I will repurchase it probably sometime soon the only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is this little applicator but the concealer itself is great I love it. I have some old mascaras that I've had for quite a little bit, but they all went dry on me. I have this Wonder Beauty that I didn't even get to use much, honestly. I have a Lancome one and a Tarte one, and I remember enjoying this one a lot, but I didn't get to enjoy it much because it did dry on me, so time to go. Rio Geo Blossom Bloom Ginseng Biotin Volumizing Spray. Had this for too long. I just didn't find myself using it and I'm sure it's expired because it's been years. So yeah, this has to go. I'm finally letting go of my ColourPop lipsticks. I've had these for probably eight years. Honestly, yeah, around eight, nine years. I think I can count on my hands on how many times I actually wore these products. I have different colors under the sun that I never used. I'm not a, a red girl, I'm not a bright pink girl either, so I don't know what I was thinking. But finally, I am letting go of these products and uh, moving on with my life. I have way hair oil. I'm not the biggest fan of this scent, to be honest. The oil, I feel like it was okay, but I couldn't, I couldn't deal with the scent. So yeah, I will not repurchase it. This was a trial size that I had, I don't know from what, which beauty box, but not purchasing a full size. I'm good with my Moroccan oil. I have a few eyeliners. Looks like I have Eichel London Kat Von D when it used to be Kat Von D and I don't know what it is now, what KVD, what does it stand for? I have their tattoo liner and actually really like this tattoo liner. These are like little samples because I never use enough to justify buying a full one because it will dry on me. Don't use eyeliner that much, but I like having these small sizes and it did dry out, I did use it. Time to let go. Same go with these Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I really enjoy these. They're not too harsh, I would say, on your eyebrows. I don't like when it's too much. And this is just enough. I used to buy only small sizes, but I feel like Ulta or Sephora had a deal that you buy a full size for the price of the small one. So now I have the full size, so definitely repurchase this. When your eyebrows are done, you just got them done. This just holds them in place without making them crunchy. So I enjoyed it. Finally, letting go of some of my stick highlighters. These I've had before stick highlighters or a thing. This is the Ciate Dewy Sticks. It just melted on me. I don't know. I feel like this is very cute, but it melted on me. It looks weird now and it's old. And Tristique. Again, I didn't really use it much and I've had it again for so long. It was time to purge them. I will link my makeup purge. I think these I purged in that vlog. I have a little sample of this SkinCeutical Siri Ferolic. I will not purchase a full size just because the full size is like $200. That's crazy for, for a vitamin C serum. But I did love it. So if you have $200 to spend on it, go for it, but I will not be repurchasing it. I have a little sample of this CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This is a great lotion. I do know I went through a lot of full sizes of this product and honestly, I'll probably still purchase down the line this product. I love it. It's non comedogenic not drying, not too thick. Perfect for me. Incredible Rollerball Gloss. I've had it for a little bit. 
and it's super glossy but it's very old now so it got to go here is the other moroccan oil that i um, that i went through next i have this joe brow pencil and gel here it is i've had it for a long time here's the brow pencil i still have it i don't really use brow pencils just because i find that I'm not very good at it. I bought it specifically for this and um, it's super pigmented and wet. I feel like I enjoyed it but sometimes it's a little too much but now I'm getting rid of it because it's too old. I have a Lancome Longwear Eyeliner. Why am I getting... oh that's why I'm getting rid of it because yeah, I feel like I really enjoyed this eyeliner, but now it's dried out, old, and it's got to go. And the same with this Arctic Architect Slim Waterproof Slim Eyeliner. Dried on me. I don't know, it works. Why am I getting rid of it? Hold on. I'm gonna put that back. Maybe I thought it dried on and it didn't, so I'll put that back. Who remembers this? The Balm. I mean, I've had it for so long it got to go but i remember really enjoying this eyeshadow and i have i think it's dolce gabbana light light blue yes it is i love this scent i actually bought a full size that i'm using i don't know how to explain it and i never know how to explain scents and fragrances but this is light ish it could be an everyday scent it's i don't know it's I, don't, I love it this is my scent it's not too sweet it's more of a fresh kind of floral um maybe i'm completely butchering it but my one of my favorite fragrances and i had to get rid of this i'm from honey mask because unfortunately it is expired in 2021 I always do this to myself. I keep this face masks so I can use them. One day I'll use them and I never do when they expire. So I need to just start using the things that I have. And um, that's it. Finally getting rid of all this trash. If you still watching, thank you so much for watching me talk about my empties about my trash if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe comment and i will see you in my next video bye